Anakin, you need to relax a little bit. You're starting to sound crazy. What do you mean, Master? A little bit of mutually assured destruction never hurt anybody. Telling the Council you'll kill them if you don't become a Jedi Master doesn't sound crazy to you? What? It's not a threat. It's like Obi-Wan says. It's just a small incentive. A small incentive to cooperate is supposed to be a reward, not a threat, Anakin. Maybe you should have taught him that, Master. No need to get personal, Ahsoka. I did teach him that. Anakin is just... very special. Who wants to make a bet? Uh, okay. What kind of bet do you have in mind? I'll bet you this will lead to trouble. It's simple. I bet that I can beat either of you in a lightsaber duel, completely blindfolded. Where the hell did that come from? Are you feeling okay, Anakin? Sounds like fun. As long as I don't have to wear a blindfold too, though. Nope, it's just a crutch for me. Obviously, I'd wipe the floor with you without one. If anyone could beat you in a fair duel, Anakin, I would think it'd be Ahsoka. She knows your weakness is best. Whatever, let's do this. First one to land a hit. All right, here we go. Aren't you idiots gonna put your sabers on training mode? Ugh, why do I even try? No need for training mode these days, Master. We can just abuse the world between worlds to bring him back. You know, I'm starting to think our abuse of that place is not so good. Nonsense, Master. Power is meant to be used and abused. That's what Anakin taught me. That sounds a lot more like a Sith's teachings than that of a Jedi. Let's go get him back from the world between worlds. I'll get him. You go find a guest. And please, get someone who isn't going to give me a stroke. Did I win, Master? No, Anakin. You got your ass handed to you on a steaming platter. Oh, well, I let her win. She needed the boost to her ego. Whatever you say, come on, let's meet back with Ahsoka. Oh dear, not this again. The world between worlds is shaking again. I don't think we fixed it last time. Ahsoka, are you okay? Ahsoka, where are you? She must have gone back. Let's just meet her back in the real world. I can't believe this. Idiot. Uh, what are you talking about, Ahsoka? Who is this? All right, I feel like I should be asking the questions here. Are you all supposed to be Jedi? What are you... no? I was trying to pull my future self from a portal and then it all started shaking and this Mandalorian guy got in the way. What the hell, man? Why'd you jump in front of Ahsoka? I... I have literally no idea what you're talking about. How are you, Ahsoka? I was just talking with her. Future self, Mando. You're in the past. His portal closed right up as soon as he left it. What a joke. <laughs> what the... Grogu, how did you get here? He was on your back when I grabbed you. Ugh, well, I guess we'll have to deal with this guy for the episode. Right. Anyway, so I guess I'll make some introductions. I'm Ahsoka, this is Anakin, and this is Master Obi- Anakin, what are you doing? Oh, uh, sorry, Master, I'm just, uh... Turn the lightsaber off, Anakin. Oh, sorry. You're telling me that you're Ahsoka Tano. Yeah, what of it? You sound like a completely different person is all. And you're supposed to be from the past? Yeah, how are you not getting this? It's just, your, uh, your leku are like the same size. Whoa, dude, it's not okay to comment on a lady's leku size. Ahsoka, it seems you've got the most offensive nerf herder you could find. Guys, relax. I appreciate you defending my honor, but he's right. It had me confused at first, too. Right, I meant no offense. I just thought that your species' head tails grew larger over time. Who knows? Maybe I got a disease that made them shrink. Like Anakin's balls in the cold. What the fuck, Master? Sorry, you're right. It was low-hanging fruit. What the hell have I gotten myself into? <coughs> How did little Grogu end up in your care? Oh, uh, long story, I guess. But wait, how do you know him? Well, he's pretty popular at the Jedi Temple. Look at him, he's adorable. Yeah, we get that a lot. He's a great wingman. I never knew there was a little baby version of Yoda in the temple. Yeah, me neither. What's up with that, Obi-Wan? The rest of the council wanted to keep him secret from a few select Jedi. But I guess I just told you also, so much for that. Don't worry, Master. Your secret is safe with us. No, it isn't. You're right. It's probably not. You got a name, Mando? The name is Din, but you can call me Mando just fine. Most people do anyway, even though it's kind of racist. <laughs> it's racist to say Mando? Kind of, but it's like a nice racial slur, little insensitive. It's like calling you Jedi. The kids of the future are such snowflakes, huh? Next thing I know, calling me a Jedi master would be a racial slur. One look at you, kid, and I can tell you're no master. You won't be saying that after I murder everyone you love in cold blood. Anakin, go take your meds. No, I don't wanna. Tell you what, Anakin, you take your meds and I'll give you a spanking.
I'm ready, master. So, what were you up to, daddy? I mean, daddy, I mean, didn't... Sorry. Oh, it's okay. I get that a lot, actually. Oh, that's a relief. Yeah, I guess having a child makes people subconsciously recognize your paternal nature. Uh, right. That's what I meant. But anyway, I was in the middle of raiding some kind of compound with, well, with you. Well, that would be a first. Yeah, I like firsts. Good or bad. They're always memorable. Weird, but okay? No. No, that's not what I... It was supposed to be funny. Like a joke. You know, jokes? I don't get it. What's so funny about that? It's not funny if I have to explain the joke. It's not funny if I don't understand the joke. Not my problem, kid. You know, it's a mystery to me why Bokadun sent me to find you of all people. I guess all the hot milfs in that area know each other. Bokatan sent you to me? Interesting. Why would she do that? I was looking to reunite this one here with his kind. Looks like I might not need to do that anymore if I found you all. <coughs> what is it, buddy? You want back up? Come here. You realize he's like 30 years old, right? He's probably older than you. He's 50, actually, but he's definitely still a baby. No, he's definitely fully conscious. He just acts like a baby for attention. He can probably even talk already. Well, I don't think he's stupid, but he's still a baby. If you want to keep babying an old man, go for it. Whatever gets you going. <coughs> right back at you, you little womp rat. If he's 50 now, that means you're only, what, 20 years into the future? I guess that's how math works. Hey, Din, don't be a bantha cock. Anakin is just a little slow with this kind of stuff. Uh, sorry, no offense, man. Little taken, Mando. I just wanted to ask about the state of the galaxy in your time. You know, like, have we brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to the galaxy? Relatively, I suppose. My life didn't change much day to day after the fall of the Empire, to be honest. Besides finding this one, of course. What is your day to day like, Din? And why don't you take that helmet off? It's got to be so warm in there. That's okay. I like to keep it on. Like, all the time? Doesn't that get uncomfortable? I'm used to it. Huh. I've never met a Mandalorian who wouldn't take off their armor. Hell, Satine wouldn't even wear it, and she was still one of the coolest people I've ever met. It's not about being cool, it's about following the creed. This is the way. Oh boy, another cult. We can't really say much about that, can we, Snips? I mean, we're Jedi, basically a cult of our own. I'm not even allowed to get bitches under our creed. That's hardly stopped you, Anakin. Master Windu would still have you expelled for that if he could. Pretty much everyone knows, but nobody gives a shit anymore. Half the council is getting laid on the regular, and the other half is brain dead. The Mandalorians are not so quick to give up on our ideals. I genuinely believe that the Creed is my right way to live. Your baby's so cute. Can I hold him? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, who's a cute little baby? You are. Yes, you are. You got such big whittle ears. Oh, just like Master Yoda's. Yes, oh, so cute. This feels out of character. Sky Guy, maybe you should give the baby back before you get any ideas. What? Just because I enjoy killing children from time to time doesn't mean I'm gonna kill this one. You enjoy killing children? What the fuck? He has some problems. We're trying to work it out in therapy. Give the baby back, Anakin. Ugh. All right, little guy. I'm gonna miss those whittle big ears of yours, but let's hope they help you glide. Catch! <coughs> oh, great. What is wrong with you, Anakin? You ask me that so much, Master. It might as well be your catchphrase. Shut up, Anakin. You say that a lot, too. Though for good reason. Anakin, you can't just go throwing babies around like that. It's not safe. What if little Grogu died and it destabilized the universe again? That would have been hilarious. I know many people who would think it's funny seeing a smudge of green Play-Doh on the ground. Your defense seriously can't just be, it would be funny. And I know many people who would stab you with pitchforks if you did, Anakin. I swear you're really starting to get on my nerves. The more I think of it... I think Anakin might be right. It would be funny. Hey guys, where did that Mando guy go? Seeing as you just threw his child like a fucking goofball, I wouldn't blame him if he didn't come back. Well, we need to find him and get him back to his portal before we cause even more irreparable damage to the universe. Oh, he's just floating up there, see? Mando, I'm sorry I threw your baby. Can you come down from there? No way, you're fucking weird, all of you. Do it for me, Din. I'll make it up to you, I promise. All right, but the other two have to back off. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Just come down. Screw off, you two. Oh, what did I do? Okay, we just need to get you back to your time. Does that guy really enjoy killing children? I don't know. I think he just jokes about it a little too much. He never really grew out of his 14-year-old emo phase. Keep an eye on that one. In my tribe, we'd kick out somebody acting that impulsive without a second thought. 
I doubt your tribe has a chosen one. Unfortunately for us, that's Anakin. So we have to put up with his bullshit for now. Just bring me back to my portal. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Don't blame you. But, actually, your portal kind of closed itself, so... We'll just find a similar one for you. That sound good? Whatever gets me the farthest away from Mr. Child Genocide. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. That little youngling gets to survive. I had a perfect opportunity to get the most legendary child kill of my lifetime, and I blew it. Uh, I'm booking you another therapy session. Well, don't do it with a clone trooper this time. They don't understand how my mind operates. I'm not sure anyone does, Anakin. Damn it! Guys, can you come help close up the world between worlds again? The giant crack is back, and it's worse than last time. I'm telling you guys, it's had the taste of blood. It just wants more human sacrifices. Dude, shut the fuck up. We get it. Your entire personality is about killing children. And hating sand, but you wouldn't know that. Can we just close up the crack now? We should really try a sacrifice first. You know what? Your whole attitude just rubs me the wrong way. I'm sure you're all strong with the Force and all that, but you're so arrogant about it. Look, I get it. We all have our flaws. And Anakin here had a tragic past that undoubtedly influenced his choices, but that doesn't excuse the damage he caused or the lives he destroyed. That's right, I've heard of you, Skywalker. I'm close with the Sand People on Tatooine. I heard how you massacred an entire village, including women and children. How can anyone justify such brutal actions? And you associating yourself with this bastard makes me lose trust in even you, Ahsoka Tano. Uh, Welp, I can't save you now. He really dug his own grave with that one. What are you talking about? What the? It's Beskar, dumbass. Your lightsaber can't hurt me. What? This is outrageous. It's unfair. <laughs> well, we might as well try that human sacrifice idea of his. Huh, what do you know? I'll see you around, Ahsoka Tano. Did he just go through the same portal as Anakin's body? Yes, that wasn't even the right one. Oh, to hell with it. We'll fix that later. It's not safe here anymore. Let's get the hell out of here. Soon I shall have unlimited, unlimited power. <laughs> what about Anakin? He's still dead. We should go back and save him. Actually, I was thinking we could wait a few days. I could really use a break from him. Are we allowed to do that? Sure, why not? Anyway, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. Comment something about cheese if you made it this far. See you next time.